Welcome back to Midday on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. We have Shelby Volo joining us from Abbott Wealth Management. Thanks for being here, Shelby. Thanks for having me today. We have kind of an interesting topic. It's, it's quite... Uh, I find it kind of exciting because I think we all want to know about our spending habits and sort of how to reduce debt and and really what we should be how we should be managing our money and um, this is a, a uh, some advice I think that's pretty informational for all of us. Tell us a little bit about yeah. it. Yeah, so there was an article that came out and it was taken from uh, multiple different certified financial planners mm -hmm. and it was their topic was if you could give Canadians some advice uh, for their finances in 2018, what would it be? Okay. So I cruised through some of them and I picked out the ones that I thought were the most relevant yeah. um, to this time. And so our first slide. Yeah, we do we have, have a, a slide few here. quotes there. So. Understand that FOMO, which is fear of missing out, is driving many of your money decisions. Stop sending money you don't have to to buy stuff you don't need to impress yeah. people you don't know. And understand that investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Do not allow irrational and impulsive emotions to alter your long-term plan. And all of these are super relevant because this year, the average Canadian owes $8,539 in consumer debt. Really? So outside of your mortgage, obviously, just consumer debt. Yeah. So that's a pretty large number to have. And installment loans, auto loans, and mortgages make up the bulk of right. that debt. And auto loans are actually going up 1.5% annually. So wow. they just keep hiking up every year, yeah. as do the mortgage loans and everything like that. So we're buying things we think that we need, yes. but it's more of a want, which is putting us into that debt. Right, and yeah. when you're just sort of swiping your credit card or you, and you saying, don't oh, think about it. it's just monthly payment, no yes. big deal, it adds up. Yeah. Fear of missing out is interesting though. It, mm -hmm. do you, are you talking about like even sales? You know what I mean? Like Yeah, buying th like you clothes, just, you think, you know. You're like, oh, it's on sale, it's like $10. It's the newest thing. Like, yeah. And vehicles for sure, I think, is a fear of missing out yes. thing because you want the newest vehicle yeah. or, Absolutely. you know, the same thing as your friends or your yeah. peers. So I definitely think that one is relevant. Okay. And if we go to the next slide, yes. there's a few more that I thought were great. So to have a better understanding of how much you really need to save in order to retire comfortably, mm -hmm. find an advisor who asks what your goals and values are and who doesn't just focus on performance and fees. Yes. Have people live below their means, simplify their financial lives, and stop trying to keep up with the Joneses because the Joneses are in debt. Yes. Which is very true. It's very true, uh, right? They don't, might not look like it, but they, but they, they could totally be, yes. are. But they totally are. And don't fall into the trap of using your home equity line of credit as your personal ATM. Budgeting instead of borrowing. Understand the real cost of buy now, pay later, which I think is very relevant. Um, ask questions and be engaged. Financial retirement planning is a team sport. Okay. Yes, which I think all of those are really helpful mm -hmm. information because sometimes people are too shy to ask questions in meetings, Absolutely. but it is a team thing and we don't know your goals and values unless you tell us. Absolutely. And those are the most important things at the end of the day. We only have a couple minutes left, yeah. uh, Shelby. I know this time always goes so quickly. So we'll go to the next slide yeah, as well absolutely. and maybe just get you to touch on a few others because we've got a few more slides. Totally. So the fees versus value. So that comment that that one advisor made, focus on goals yeah. and that kind of thing versus fees. So I just did a really quick example. If someone came up to you and you needed a fence and they were like, I'm $80 an hour versus $40 an hour. Which one are you going to pick? Right. A lot of people, people probably would go for the $40, 40 yeah. an hour. But at the end of the day, the fences turned out completely different. One, the guy who was $80 an hour took two days versus the guy that was $40 an hour took three, three weeks. weeks. And yeah. if you go to the next slide, I averaged out the cost of that. So the nice fence there was $1,280 and the not so nice fence that took way longer, that was $40 an hour, ended up being $4,800. So, so sometimes it's not, you really have to get the best bang for yeah. your, so price, it's not the best bang for your buck. It's, it's sort of, yeah, you, you gotta be careful there. Yeah. You don't always wanna go with the cheapest thing. Exactly, because price is only relevant in the absence of value, just right. like it said on the slide. And then just lastly, really quick, this was just kind of correlating into how we are going into a little bit of debt with the way we're spending. Um, consumer debt's rising because we're picking up way more debt in larger sums yes. than we're used to. And 40% of Canadian households specifically have mortgage debt. And house prices are actually driving our cost of inflation um, to increase our rent. To, it's uh, two times inflation right now, wow. the rent cost. So, 
everything's affecting something else yeah. a little bit. It's a and domino it's a ripple effect, effect, for sure. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I thought those were some helpful well, things going into 2018. Absolutely, good yeah. advice. And, yeah, so maybe don't go out and buy that big boat that you want for the summer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much, Shelby. Very good advice. I like that. Yeah. My favorite's the fear of missing out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back on Midday with Dr. Sapphire Vanderlip. Stay with us.